On a beautiful May afternoon in 2013, Elif and Aslihan came across samples of Cox Rudaralis Istanbulensis on the coast of Burgazada near Martha's Bay. Pieces of construction rubble illegally dumped onto the beaches of the island. They had been rounded off by the repetitive wave action of the Marmara Sea and became pebbles. Cox for pebble, Ruderalis for rubble in Latin. For the taxonomy of these recent anthropogenic geological formations, they used binomial nomenclature while naming them, usually reserved for the classification of living species. After all, human creations are now nature. Much less conspicuous than floating debris like plastics, sinking demolition waste disposed into the sea takes a life of its own, carried to shores around the sea through undercurrents. The unmitigated urban expansion renders old buildings stuck obsolete in Istanbul. Landfills gradually expand coastlines and take over the living rights of their non-human residents. Any kind of disposal of solid construction waste into the Marmara Sea destroys the fragile marine ecosystems such as the ones surrounding the Prince Islands, including unique corals, sponges and sea pans. Choked to death after consistent exposure to solid waste, extraordinarily colorful coral species surviving until 2015 have disappeared completely. Pabilization, the running off of plastic rocks due to weathering by natural processes such as marine wave motion, erosion and river and drift, resulting in the formation of small-scale rounded rocks is a sorting mechanism that tells the tale of our planetary history. Cox Ruderalis Istanbulensis is a monster pebble added to the inventory of rock types by humans. Made up from zombified remnants of old building components, they are momentum marie for the unwitting residents of the city. A feral entity, pebbleized by natural forces along with its so-called natural counterparts, they come from WCs, concrete slabs, asphalt pieces, tiles and similar demolition waste. Although located and shaped similarly to natural rock pebbles, the properties of the Franken pebbles differ mostly in their violent extraction and quick disposal. To quote Bruno Latour, Frankenstein lives on in the popular imagination as a cautionary tale against technology. The monster serves as an all-purpose modifier to denote technological crimes against nature. For example, when we fear genetically modified foods, we call them Frankenfoods. But the convenient trope mistakes the monster, who had no name, for its creator, Dr. Frankenstein. And just as we confuse Frankenstein for the monster, we also misunderstand Dr. Frankenstein's real sin. For Dr. Frankenstein's crime was not that he invented a creature through some combination of hubris and high technology, but rather that he abandoned the creature to itself. Cox ruderalis species, also known as Frankenpebbles, is one example of the family of monster elements, such as plastiglomerates, pyroplastics, detroit agate, or fordite. Monsters unleashed by the production processes of local industries, like the automotive industry of Detroit or the ruthless urban regeneration of Istanbul. These pebbles are material reminders of capitalist greed, petrified. While Franken pebbles spend short lives in their originally designated forms, in ancient Shinto belief, old rock formations are revered because of the time they have spent on Earth. The more rounded and old a surface rock is, the farther away one walks around, so as to show respect to the divine spirits that reside in deep, deep time. 
Pebblization or rounding off has been the slow process leading to sacredness as it encapsulated the most precious. Time. On the other hand, recently formed CRI specimens roundness builds on fast materials and accelerated time. Take concrete, the main component of most specimens and the major human contribution to Earth's rock inventory. Starting off with a fire-processed amalgam of limestone and clay designed to react with water, it transforms into speeded-up conglomerates in ever-increasing quantities. Geological research records a total of 500 billion tons of concrete produced until now, equivalent to about a kilo for every square meter of earth, land and sea. Of that, well over 90% has been made since the mid-20th century, and over 50% in the last couple of decades, and its production is still accelerating. Cox Ruderalis Istanbulensis is included as a natural formation in the Museum of Natural History of Istanbul. The inclusion is based on the suggestion that nature now encompasses the human-made. The museum, based on the arts of noticing, will feature these Franken pebbles to lead us to reasonings and positionings beyond the condemnation and criticism of the forces and systems which act upon Istanbul, its growth cycle, and the rights of its non-human residents. As Simone Weil in Gravity and Grace says, attention is the rarest and purest form of generosity. We have to try to cure our faults by attention and not by will.